Hey, what's up guys? Screwdog77 here, and we're back again looking at the next three trailers in rapid succession of Ratchet & Clank, the game, based on the movie, whatever, based on the original game. And we got three new trailers. We got a Novalis trailer, Novalis, Novalis, whatever. We got a new Kerwan trailer, which actually has a ton of new stuff in it. We, we thought, I thought that it'd be like, oh man, they're just doing Kerwan again, and it's, no, it's completely different than the first Kerwan trailer that we got way back when um and then we get an iridia trailer and i might have gotten the order of that wrong i know we're starting off in novalis because i'm looking at the trailer right now but um anyway without further ado we're just gonna go through this i'm gonna try not to pause it too much and like talk about too much shit and i'll be quiet during some of the cutscenes. no i won't also i'm leaving links in the description to all these videos so you can watch them without my stupid ass talking over them but anyway, it's damaged, but we started off, worse. and Come on, Ratchet's Didn't ship has crashed on this planet, so it didn't just turn into dust like it did in the first game. Wait and But we get to see that, that it's pretty much exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same as it was before. We see some rare titanium right there. The dude just walked past it. I don't know what he's doing, but he takes the elevator sort of thing down. Down to the lower area, I guess. And defend the planet is what it says. I was right in the last trailer. My first thought was right. So I guess uh, we're just gonna like help out where we can here. Not sure what the plot is, honestly. Here, oh well, I know we gotta we have to repair our ship, and that's pretty much it. I guess that's our objective is to find someone who can repair the ship. But as you can see, it looks so beautiful this time around. Um, we see the scene that took place in the first game trailer, and the, the river is still there. And there's a lot more city elements this time. I don't know if we're going to venture into the city at any point. But Ratchet's using the uh, fusion bomb here. Am I saying that right? The fusion oh, bomb? Dear. Yep, the fusion more bomb and the combustor are the weapons that he has on this planet. And there was a Gadgetron vendor back up there, but he didn't use it. I was kind of quiet during that cutscene, I guess. Because, so, that's the ship. So, oh, do you see that? It just fucking jump cut to... It jump cut it a few times. We skipped the bridge, which is where the original cutscene played where it shoots the bridge up and creates platforming obstacles that I joked back in my Let's Play. But now we're sitting in the area where his ship sort of touched down in the original, but here he's crash-landed instead of just landing. And these guys are evil this time around. They're not like this... Well, they probably weren't as defensive on the original. I could defend either way. But Ratchet's fighting Blarg with his wrench. Oh my god, dude, you're, you're still level one with Combustor. How about you use the Combustor a little bit? Try and get it leveled up to the Heavy Combustor or whatever the fuck. But anyway, a cutscene's about to play where we get to see that. And this voice actor, dude, I know he's not the original voice actor, but he's like somebody. But anyway, I'll be quiet for this. I thought we were done for sure. We are happy to be of assistance. Why is Dread trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this infobot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Blockwash, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Blarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people! Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! We gotta get to Iridia. Agreed. Okay, so, it looks like this time the, uh, the chairman of the okay. planet, or I guess he's, did he say he was a mayor this time around? He's Mayor Buckwash or something? Anyway, instead of giving us the infobot to Kerwan, he gives us the infobot to, um, Aridia. And we got to see that cutscene, and it, I think Skid McMartin's voice actor might have reprised that role. It sounded a lot like him. It could just be a guy imitating him. Like, trying to make himself sound like that. We'll have to wait and see. And we see there's a find someone who can help you repair your ship. So, 
I guess Skid ended up with the schematics to the Hydro, hydro Harvesters that are going to be used on Pokotaru. And now it's like, holy shit, everyone just wants to kill him all of a sudden. They were like his fans, and then he accidentally ended up with the thing, and now they're like, let's just fucking kill him then. So, I don't know. Uh, I like how we saw Skid's agent, and we saw Skid. I don't know, we see some more wall jumping here. Also, you know what? Did we see if there was a gold bolt pathway there? Nah, I don't think we did. Anyway... Everything is pretty much the same here. It just looks so similar. Um, still just using the fusion bomb and the, uh, the combustor. Since he didn't go into the vendor, I have no idea if, like, the vendor has the pyrocitor in it, like it usually would on this planet when you get here. And as you can see, when you come out to this main area, he hasn't even... I, you can sort of see the water when he's swaying back and forth. Can you? I don't know if you can. But um, this time around, to get the uh, pistons to start moving to make platforms for you to get up, you have to turn the bolt crank. Which, you know, I don't know. It's cool. Calling back to that. We haven't seen the bolt crank used that often in more recent games, especially in a... What game do I want to say? Tools of Destruction had the ones where you, like, crank them back and forth, but you don't go around them. But this game it calls back to that. But anyway, it looks like we're heading up to the plumber's area this time around, and I'll be quiet for that cutscene as well. But yeah, not much new to see here except a reassurance that everything is going to be, like, exactly the same. So I don't think there were enemies uh, last time around. And also, the charred door right there, the, the door was, like, charred a little bit. And then it fixed itself. But anyway, I'll be quiet. Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. I don't think so. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drex forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargy and dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swiped it from one of those Blarg soldiers. Here you go. And that is where that trailer ends. It ends with us not getting to see the new info about to Kerwan, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what that is. It might be a whole other planet. And we, Well, when you think about it. Okay, so if Ratchet and Clank's ship is shot down in the scene from the first trailer that we looked at in the last video, then maybe then Clank gives Ratchet the info about to Kerwan there but they crash land on Novalis so there is no Novalis one since they're not trying to go there now so maybe this is an info bot for a whole new planet but we're still trying to get back to Kerwan and now Iridia so it's sort of like the roles are reversed because we saw in the other trailer there was like a brief scene where like something was zooming in on the plumber Ratchet and Clank by the destroyed ship so in the original game it was the chairman gave you the info bot to Kerwan and then gave you a new ship and the plumber gave you Iridia, but this time the dude gives you Iridia and nothing. The, the uh, chairman gives you Iridia, and then the plumber gives you, um, maybe Kerwan. I don't know, just spitballing here. Could be Kerwan, and then fixes your ship. So it's sort of like they reversed what they did. So that's pretty neat. Also, the plumber made a clever reference. Like, yeah, we, we met before. It's, you know, it's a serious case of deja vu. You know, but anyway, the next trailer, and I don't even know which one it is. Uh, it's the Kerwan trailer, is the one we're looking at now. And we see Ratchet's uh, ship sort of flying towards the Hall of Heroes. And then there's like a huge battle going on, like I guess the invasion has already started. And then we sort of see this giant warship, kind of similar to Tachyons, and then sort of similar to like some of the space pirate ships. I know it's like neither of those two are involved in this game, but like the back of the ship kind of reminds me of Tachyon. And then there's like a sort of bridge section that reminds me of... Um, uh, space pirate ships, but anyway, so really neat, it looks like when you arrive on this planet, you start off fighting in the air, you don't start off in a land section, you start off in, in this sort of section, so that's really neat, so you see Korra over the comm, like, talking to you, and being like, I don't know who you are, but you're helping us out, and Quark also says something later on, he's like, what the fuck you doing, this is my town, you dick. But anyway, uh, yeah, machine gun, barrel roll, and boost, so we don't have the, uh, rockets, I guess. I guess we don't have rockets in this scene, or whatever was, was L2 in the previous trailer that I couldn't really read all that well. And then, we don't have the tether yet, but, uh, there's actually a scene later where Clank will just, like, I think he says something about it. We'll see when we get there, but 
the goal here is to destroy like five of the. I think they're saucers. Let me wait for them to come up to this next one. Yeah, they're saucers. There's also no like map, but there's like a sort of thing on the screen that guides you to where they're hanging out at. The little star that he's that the character's following. Pretty sure those are the saucers. The dropship has come in. Or not the dropship, but the. Oh no, they're dropships. What am I even talking about? They're not saucers. And then. I mean, Korra is still talking, but the warship is dropping the dropships, but I guess are dropping the dudes on the surface. So I guess saucers are still flying around because he's, like, following one right there. Yeah, he shot at it. Oh, and it gives you health back, it looks like, what happened there. That looked like nanotech. Awesome. That was giving you back. And then Ratchet and Clank are just, like, having some back and forth right here while Clank decides how they're going to, like, take out the warship. Since I guess the machine gun isn't really enough right now to do enough damage. But anyway, oh, fire warbots is what that said. But anyway, it looks like you use the magnet, sort of similar to the tether. And uh, you pick up the enemies, and then when you get in range of the ship, which now has a health bar. And I think that might be showing you... That might be, uh, there's like a Warbots counter at the top. I don't know if that's how many you have in your grasp or how many it'll take to destroy this thing. I'm going to find out. But anyway, he fires it. Yeah, it must have been how many you have in your grasp. So you can pick up, I guess, 12 because there's six in each row, six times two, whatever. Do a map for you guys. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. And he just like hit the, uh, the saucer. I kind of want to, I wouldn't pay attention to shit if that took away from his health. It should have. Um, but anyway, I guess he's picking up a ton of the enemies from the hall. So he's like, he's like killing two birds in one stone, because he's like stopping the dropship, and he's getting enemies out of the, uh, Hall of Heroes, which is pretty neato. But, uh, like Ratchet said, one more hit should do it, so he comes back down here and picks up a few more guys. And this is a really cool mechanic, I kind of like this. It reminds me a lot of the tether from, uh, A Crack in Time. Ratchet and Clank at Kraken time. Instead, you're picking up a lot more things this time, and instead of just, like, removing, like, like, uh, things or helping ships to, like, their destination. Yeah. So cool. But anyway, cutscene time, and I'm just gonna shut the fuck up for this whole thing and then talk about the cutscene afterwards. I mean, nothing's happening right now, it's just dudes, but I'll be quiet now. Let's give these heroes some breathing room. I'm happy to field all questions on their behalf. Dallas Wanamaker here. Uh, does this mean you'll be asking these two heroes to join the Rangers? Say what now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see why not. And that is how dumb luck helped a rookie Lombax take out a Blargian warship. That wasn't no dumb luck. He and that robot made a great pair. That's enough out of you, solitary Bill. Sheesh, you give a guy your pudding cup once, and then you can never get rid of him. So, what happened next? Well, Drek didn't take too kindly to having his plan ruined by a Lombax and his robot pal, so he sent Blargian mercenaries to take them out. So as you can see, this time around, uh, well not this time around, but in the very first Ratchet and Clank game trailer we saw, there was obviously some clever editing done in because it, it definitely makes it look like the ship crashes into something and they fly off there, but as we can see from the cutscene here, that's not the case. It was actually one of these uh, buff blarg put a, put a bomb on it. And so I guess now we won't be seeing Ratchet ship for a long time. And I'm guessing that after this planet, Ratchet's gonna get the uh, the new armor that we saw in the very first trailer. And then when Quark's like, "Here's your new ship," which honestly, if Quark was trying to kill Ratchet, wouldn't he just put a bomb on the new ship and kill him that way? Like, I don't get it. Unless like Quark made it for him, or like Brax or some one of the other Galactic Rangers are the ones that like prepared it for him. Quark just presented it. But yeah, so now we're seeing sort of the first area of Kerwin, which is very similar. If you I didn't get to talk about it there because I want to talk about the cutscene, but it looked like you're we're at the very beginning of Her One in the original game because you like head down the area, head, like down the side pathway, and the the person playing doesn't pan the other way, so we can't see if there's like 
a ship landing area behind, or if there's the swing shot course, obstacle course on the other side. But anyway, this time around, Ratchet is given the combustor, the photon drum, the pyrocitor, and what, the Druvatron? No, the fusion bomb again is what he gets. So now we get to see the photon uh, drum, and it's sitting over there. It just disappeared, but it was like shocking dudes, I guess. And this dude is not that good at dodging these attacks, and he's only got four nano attack left. But whatever, he'll, he'll manage. This is sort of like giving us the beginning. Like when you see the end of where this where this ends off, it sort of seems like if you take this trailer and you you put it at the beginning of whatever, and then you add the second Car hey, One trailer to the end of it, it sort Almost of kind of there. pieces it together with like one missing cutscene. And as you can see, it's a lot of a shorter pathway this time around. Well, not, not really, not super short. As you can see, that's Al's Robo Shack. And I guess um, in a crack in time, there was a, uh, a space advertisement for Big Al, and it was like calling him Big Al's Robo Shack and Gaming Superstore. And I feel like this is sort of a throwback to that line. Like just that line of dialogue sort of gets its own thing. And it looks like when you fire the photon drum out, it like deals immediate damage. And then it has the pulsating ring around it, and then it shocks enemies too. It's kind of what it looked like with the vibe I was getting from it. But yeah, it's sort of like they threw back to that one space ad and actually made it to Owl's RoboShack and Gaming Superstore. And we can sort of hear him, and I'm pretty sure that's his voice actor from the first game. I'm fairly certain that that is his voice actor from, the, from you know, all the other games. You know, from Ratchet Clank 1 and 3 and Deadlocked. So, and of course the space ad from uh, Kraken Time. And this scene is kind of reminiscent of the Belden scene where he was outside um, his hangar or whatever, or whatever the dude's his boss's name's hangar, and he had to shoot the dropship so he had to fight the helicopter guy. But anyway, there's a cutscene here, so I'll shut, up, shut the fuck up now. Holy cow. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Look at this. They have my blaster runs hot. Fungoid with a stick. Oh, Spiro the Space Moose. They even have the Mega Limited Ultra Edition of Intransigence Fall of Blarg. <clears throat> that one comes with exclusive content if you pre order through Gadgetron. I take it you're the ones Cora called me about? The ones in need of a new Helipack upgrade? You must be Big Al. It is nice to meet you. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Well, any friend of Cora's is a friend of mine. She and I kind of have a will we, won't we romance in progress. Uh huh. Hop onto my workbench. I'll get you all squared away. And that is where that trailer ends. So now we know from the Pogotaru trailer that we get the Hydro Pack from Big Al and Pogotaru. We also get the Helipack from him on this planet. And we know we get the Jet Pack from that Blarg Scientist on Gaspar. So I'm starting to think that the Thruster Pack probably won't be in the game. And I know it's going to disappoint a lot of fans at the Thruster Pack who, like, used it, you know, once you got it in the first game. And then once you get Clank in the second game, they immediately equipped it. And then I think in Up Your Arsenal, and I know in Tools of Destruction, but I know, I'm pretty sure in Up Your Arsenal as well, you can equip the Thruster Pack from the beginning of the game. And so I know there's those people out there that will be disappointed if it doesn't return. So I kind of hope it returns. But I personally am the minority. I know I'm the minority, but I prefer the Helipack, so I'm, I'm not going to be too disappointed if they remove the Thruster Pack. So, we get to see my blaster runs hot, and we get to see Big Al, which, ooh, is so exciting, I'm so glad he's back, I just hope Helga's back. And his little mention of that him and Korra relationship was also mentioned in the Pokotaru trailer from a thousand whatevers ago. And I'm, I just gotta say, I really hope that that is the case. I don't want Ratchet to hook up with Korra. Isn't she, like, twice his height or something? I could be wrong about that, because I haven't seen him side by side in a while. I don't even know if we have seen him side, we probably have, but... I hope it is, I hope it is Al and Cora that get together. i am be honest. Because I would rather Ratchet just be waiting for Sasha to appear when they remake the third game, or Angela to appear when they remake Going Commando. So, you know. But enough of that, we'll get to the Iridia trailer now. Which is pretty neat. And, uh, we don't get to see, when it starts off, we're clearly leaving the, uh, the skid pathway. And I'll be quiet for cutscenes here as well, but it looks like we just left the, the skid pathway, similar to how you could leave it in uh, uh, the original game. But we see him going, we see Ratchet, the playing person playing, going down the regular pathway of the game where it leads to the, uh, what was originally the construction site, but I guess this time it's a construction site for Skid's store. 
I guess. Is a uh, it'll the McMark Superstore, and now in the Quick Select we have another new group of weapons. I believe we still have the Combustor. We have the um, I'm, I'm I'm fucking pausing it right there. Okay, so we've got the Groovatron. We've got okay. So if we start from the top middle and we go clockwise, we've got the Combustor, the Fusion Bomb, the Pyrostor, the Pixelizer, Pixelator, whatever it was. Groovatron and Buzzblades, and I'm pretty sure we saw the Buzzblades in a previous trailer, but not in a long time, or not for very long. I missed that one, but anyway, we get to hear some Groovatron music briefly, and then uh, I will have the audio playing for this one, unlike the uh, the IGN, the first IGN trailer. I'll just have the music playing over that in the second IGN trailer. But anyway, we've got the same enemies, just like before. We've got the same enemies going on. We've got these flamethrower guys, except check this out. These guys look like the um, flamethrower guys from Aridia, where they shoot the fire beam. But the attack he's doing is actually similar to the Blark scientist on the Blark station um, on BTS. It's like that same guy, though. He's using attacks like that, where he shoots the ground and then a fire wave comes out. So it's really cool. I don't know if that enemy type is still going to appear. Anyway, this is what we saw in the trailer, in the first IGN trailer that just came out from this trailer apocalypse. But anyway, Clank mentions that there's a gadget somewhere around here, so we know we're going to get something. It's not the Trespasser, though, which is what we originally find here. And it's it's really cool seeing this. And oh, oh. Oh, if, you, if the sound effect played a little louder, you could tell that it's like a very similar sound effect to the first game and not like the ones from the future series. So that's pretty exciting. Skid also, I guess, has like lines over this. I don't know if it's because he's been saved already, because we have to. I think we already saved him. But anyway, this is where you could get that skill point, you know? It's like they made these so recognizable, but they're so beautiful. You know, and you swing shots over. I don't know if there's still going to be a skill point. I'm going to try. When I'm playing through this game, I'm just going to try and get all of them. So anyway, we come over here, and we get the Hydro Displacer. And see, look, we press Triangle Connect the Hydro Displacer. So it's similar to the Electrolyzer, where it's just press Triangle to use the Electrolyzer. So it's pretty neat, and it looks like it just works for whatever you need it to work for. I don't know if, like, actually there's a, a, it's going to make it so you have to take and place water or what. But anyway, yeah, it looks like you're gonna put. Yep. Just a push of a button, the duo you fill now that fill with water. And Quark's, you know, talking over the whole thing. Originally designed to unclog Valkyrie toilets, Ratchet would find the hydro displacer invaluable in navigating the sewers of the galaxy. listening to Quark talk about Ratchet navigating the sewers of the galaxy. But anyway, we're now back at the beginning of that course, and now we're gonna find Skid's agent. So that is still an objective of this planet. Again, I, I don't know if I talked about it in my Ratchet and Clank Let's Play, but this was one of the planets I assumed assumed would not come back. I was like, of all the planets in Ratchet and Clank 1 that we haven't seen yet, this is one. I'm giving this a 3 out of 10 on the likely likeliness. That's how I, I actually rated them all. And Core 2 and Orkson are 9, so I keep waiting for them to show up. We might have already seen Core 2, I don't know. And look at this, we get to see how cool that shit looked. Did you see it? It was like, and like a little blue wave came out, so that's what upgrading nanotech looks like. And that's really neat. And now we're seeing the buzzblade being used, which isn't as fast as usual. And it looks like you might be pressing the button over and over again instead of just holding it. I mean, you might be able to do it both ways, but, you know, whatever. We also, I'm actually noticing that if you look at the bolt tally, it looks like that 5 right there might be raritanium tally. You know, keeping track of how much you have of that on you. So it's similar to um, how it worked in Into the Nexus, where it's not like you hold a ton of raritanium, like in Tool of Destruction. It's like in that game where, like, having 5 is like having a fuck ton, you know? Nice one, dude. You just hit the close and crate. But everything is the same, and then Quartz says some dumb shit that I can't help but find funny. And you can see the side area is still over there, and there's something down there. There was some fucking square down there. I don't know if that was ammo or if that was like a rhino something piece. I don't know what that was. He's not gonna go over there. I know he doesn't go over there because I've seen this trailer before. But anyway, it's really neat to, uh, see that because i don't know what that is i have no idea but anyway everything is still the same over here this dude hasn't thrown his wrench you could i know you can still throw your wrench in this game because i'm pretty sure i played a demo at like a GameStop, 
and you can still throw your wrench. So I don't know why he's not. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just not a pro. He's not a pro like me who throws their wrench at the uh, at things. But anyway, another cutscene's coming up, and the end of the trailer as well. So as you can see, he's being attacked by Blarg as well for some reason. And so we gotta we gotta take out these Blarg guys and help them out. And as you can see, the pixelizer is really strong because it's just ripping. They just like one shot those three guys. And then I think he switches to the combustor. No, he switches to the pyrocitor here. And of course, that's a lot of a weaker weapon. But of course, it has a lot more. Well, I thought it would have a lot more ammo, but it says it has only 20 instead of 240 like in the uh, original game. And then the combustor has 40 ammo. Switch to that. So you can see he's already leveled it up to level 2. So it's, it's extra powerful. And I thought he had like no ammo left, but apparently at like 10 they decided to turn the text for that red. Look how cool that looks fucking crash and everything. So anyway, I'll show the fuck up. There's also gravity ramps, so maybe a gold bolt's still there. Hey, you must be the two heroes who saved my client, huh? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and Clink. Ratchet and Clank. Right, right, beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. Real marketing potential. I could sell that. Uh, listen, my client and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. Think you can help me out? You have nothing to fear, sir. The sand sharks have been dealt with. Beautiful. Beautiful. You two have heart. I can sell that. We are always happy to assist. And that is where that trailer ends. So I guess we're going to help the dude back to his ship, maybe? Or maybe he'll just go back on his own? Not quite sure, but... As you could tell from the dialogue exchange there, we've already helped Skid and taken out the Sand Sharks. I'm not sure what would happen if you were to take the Skid's agent pathway first, if there's alternate dialogue, or if you even can take that pathway. But anyway, that's the last of the trailers that we've seen that I can show, because I can't can't find that opening anymore. I saw it, it was really cool. Quark was like talking to this dude in prison, and he was like, yo, I'm a big fan of you, I always want to be arrested by you. And then he's like, thank you, dude, you're, you're cool. And then he's like, wait a minute, they're making a game about me? He's like, yeah, dude, I ordered it. It's getting delivered to myself. So I guess it's a pretty lax prison because you could just, like, play video games or whatever. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm glad you stuck with me for almost 30 minutes now while I talk about these trailers. And I will see you guys on Primal or Ratchet & Clank Going Commando or whatever the fuck I choose to get out next. <laughs> My upload schedule has just been so fucked lately. It's going to be back to normal, though, soon. It's, with my laptop fucking up, it just ruined everything because... I lost all this time I could have used to record parts, and then this week got all fucked up for me this past week because I didn't have any time to record because I didn't get my software back together and my laptop back before I got a chance to record, and then I work in school again. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time on one of those Let's Plays, probably Primal. I'm probably going to try and get a part out of Primal Sunday to make up for the sad display that I've put on. Anyway, catch you dudes next time.